Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to put together or how to use a helix in order to derive something that would resemble, as you see in the screen, something that would resemble a spring. So the helix actually drives that spring, and what drives the helix is a circle, and I'll show you all these uh, elements. What we use a helix for in this regard is uh, doing a sweep boss base. So what we've done is we've drawn a profile of what needs to be uh, extruded here, what needs to be uh, put through that uh, sweep, and then we have a path, and the path is represented by that helix, and the helix has a number of different uh, options available to it in order for us to adequately define what that helix is going to be. So let's go take a look at our uh, profile for one thing. First of all, we have over here in a feature manager tree on something that's already been created, uh, we have uh, what I call a spring, and it's uh, got the symbol over here in regard to the feature. The symbol is the sweep feature. And if we, and regard, and, and re, as in my previous film, uh, the way a sweep works is that the sweep needs a path and a profile. So the profile for this is going to be a, a small circle of a specific diameter, and we'll look at that in just a moment, following the path, which is going to be the helix. So let's look at the profile first. So we have a five. Uh, one hundredths of an inch or fifty thousandths of an inch uh, diameter circle is going to define uh, the you know the diameter of the spring that we're going to be using and then our path is going to be defined by the helix if we were to take a look at look at that I've gone in to edit the feature now you can see the preview of the helix the preview is uh, showing as a yellow line there are three different options with the, with the helix you have a uh, pitch and revolution. Pitch is the difference between each one of these yellow lines, one stacked right on top of another. It's uh, the vertical distance in regard to what we see in this screen. And uh, that could be defined as a pitch of a tenth of an inch, you know, one hundred thousandths of an inch. And the revolutions being six. Both of these are editable. What's going to be derived, if you can see over here in the dialog box that uh, comes with this helix, what's derived is the height. We can't change the height, but we can change the pitch. So if you want to make maybe the pitch uh, 0.2 inches instead of 0.1, you can see it gets a lot, there's a lot more space in between it. But the revolutions stay the same at 3, we can, or at 6, we can make that 3 and maybe make that half the height. And, you know, those are the options down here. This remains gray down here, and we'll get to that here in just a moment. Height and revolution, we can change that. Perhaps the height needs to be uh, 0.6 inches. Now that becomes editable. Uh, the revolutions, we could do the revolutions in that, that's going to be 6, and we're going to put it back the way it was before, and that's okay. And then height and pitch. So we know what the height needs to be. The height needs to be 0.6 inches, so we need to decide how many revolutions we want, or uh, what the pitch is going to be. Either one of those variables can be chosen for your design when you put your battery together. But here for height and pitch, our height is going to be 0.6 inches, maybe the pitch is going to be a tenth of an inch per um, height in regard to the vertical height between uh, one yellow portion of that sketch that you see and uh, the one below that. So those are the three options. We also have an option for constant pitch or variable pitch. And if we go to the variable pitch option, then we have the ability to change some items down here. So we can change our height. The height's going to be zero down here, but the pitch down here, we could change it from maybe starting at maybe 0.3 and then it ends at point 0.1 up here, so it starts with a much broader helix on the bottom and it gets more narrow as we go on top. That gives us the ability, and you also have a table over here to uh, play around with that too. So these are options that are available, all uh, six of those options are available when we put together a helix. We're going to save with the constant pitch, we're not going to make any changes down here, but we are going to stick with the height which is going to be 0.6 inches and perhaps a pitch of 0.1 inches or we can go to height and revolution, maybe we just want to have a uh, amount of revolutions, we can make that 7. And that increases the pitch between that, so we'll see if that works. Go to the green check mark, let's see what that looks like. It looks like the, the it's kind of dense. You can see that there's a certain amount of density between, a uh, higher density of uh, the coil in here, than you do space between the coil. So design your spring in the manner you see fit. Typically the terminal on top of a battery is going to have a little bit more uh, a space between it, so it has the ability to move around a little bit more. So perhaps a different change, uh, different options in there, maybe increasing the pitch distance between it, probably would be appropriate in this situation. So in the next film, we'll actually go ahead and design this from scratch. 